Lana Jones with BlueBunnyHollow.com. Thank you for joining me. Today we will be talking about getting a perfect measurement for centering and cutting with a ruler you may never have seen before. Unfortunately, this ruler is not made anymore, but you can still find it. I will talk about that in a few minutes. Precision is important. If our embroidery is a sixteenth of an inch off, most probably will not even notice. Some of us, however, are perfectionists and need to get it exactly positioned. Sometimes it is difficult to find the center of an item because it is not like paper that can be folded into half or thirds to mark. And because it does not measure to the perfect measurement like six or seven and a half, which we can easily figure out. Sometimes they measure to an odd number like eight and seven sixteenths inch. Yes, we can convert them into decimal or millimeters, then split in half or thirds, then measure and mark the item. But even dividing eight and seven sixteenths inch by two or three would still require finding where this would be on the ruler. So I would like to have a quicker, easier way to perform this task. Spending this much time doing all this math makes my brain hurt. The rulers I'm going to show you today are unfortunately, like I mentioned, no longer made, but they are still available. So you may want to get them now before they are completely gone. Search the internet and eBay and you will find some new and used rulers. They are worth the search if you are like me and just want to measure and get your project done. Search for Keyson Great Divider or Follett Ruler. There is divide in half and divide in thirds. I mainly use the divide in half. Using the eight and seven sixteenths inch example and a tape measure, let's see what these rulers can do for us. We get pretty darn exact as you can see in the half divide ruler. We do not always need to measure to a 32nd inch, but you can see how accurate we can get with the one third ruler. Let's put this to practical use and see how we actually make these rulers work for us. We will start with the half divide ruler. In this example, I'm measuring a kitty dining mat to find the vertical and horizontal center of the area marked with a blue box that I want to embroider. The half ruler makes this measurement very fast and easy. Place the left end of the ruler where you want to start the measurement. With the kitty dining mat, it is the bottom of the left ear. Move the right slider only to the right end of the area to be measured, which is the right outer edge of the mat. Mark the straight edge of the left slider. Repeat for the vertical measurement, starting at the top center of the head to the bottom of the mat and mark the straight edge of the left slider. You can put two or more marks to mark the straight line. However, since I only put one mark with the ruler today, I adjusted the kitty dining mat so the bottom and the mark I just made line up with the lines of the cutting mat. Then extend the lines for the centering cross marks for the placement of the embroidery. Perfect. In the second example, we will be using the one-third ruler. This makes splitting an item into thirds super easy. Place the left end of the ruler at the left end of the cardboard tube. Move the right slider only to the right end of the cardboard tube. Then mark the straight edge of the left slider. Turn the cardboard tube around and repeat the process for the other end. Now you can easily cut the cardboard tube into thirds. Hope this helps you with your half and one third markings. Have a great day and enjoy your sewing adventures. Okay.